What's happening up there? Uh, unknown. Checking. What do you mean, unknown? I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work is extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. November 3rd! My hard-earned vacation was cancelled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility head, Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness, he doesn't even treat us like human beings. That fool doesn't deserve a lot of things. November 5th! I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. Poor bastard. He must be awfully patient. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over ten years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu. And are deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. November 10th. At midnight I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. I am so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this. Excuse me, buddy! You had to have that stupid, stupid music playing while I was reading that. I think there's something I forgot to get in there, but it's nothing important, though. Let's continue on. Yeah, Nosferatu, which is Alexander. He's the only thing I'm kind of worried about, because... I'm not worried about killing him, I'm worried about getting poisoned. I might have to bust... I might have to bust out some retries. No! 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 Stop! You're not planting anything on my back. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. You can shake those guys off too. Just like you do the zombies if you're fast enough. Excuse me! Excuse me, fellas. Yeah, you guys haven't heard about me? I'm the juke specialist. I juke you guys all day and all night. Oh, this room can be kind of annoying. Oof. Just get this real quick. Take the barcode sticker. Yeah, I'm not messing around with anything. Ah, damn it! <gasps> oh, at least I'm not poisoned, though. I don't need an herb. I don't need any of that. I'm just gone. Let's see what she says about this. Gas mask lock release. If a gas leak occurs. Fair enough. I'm surprised I didn't get poisoned there. They had mercy on me, thank god. Excuse me, buddy. You guys are just gonna go hungry, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. There was a point of emphasis on that shaft up there. There must be something good in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> For some reason, I thought those guys would be laid out. Take the mining room key. Hell yeah. Let's investigate. Let's see what we got here. Barcode sticker. An, an identification sticker used to sort the loads. What kind of loads? <laughs> mining room key. A key used to open the door of the mining room. Fair enough. Oh, shit. I thought he was going to grab me. That's why I was like... No. Alright. Well, this place needs a lot of work. Shit's not working. We can't get to stuff. There's a whole lot of cloak and dagger bullshit that we need to take care of in here. So let's do that. Um. Uh. Go ahead. No, we'll, 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 we'll do all that after we do this. Let's go ahead and do this first. Use the mining room key? Hell yeah. You've used the mining room key. You no longer need it. Yeah, we'll get rid of it. We don't mind. Oh, real, real, real atmospheric places in this Antarctic area. You know, real foggy, cold looking and shit. Kind of creepy, not really. There's a hole shaped like an octagon. There's a notice. Poison gas, in case of emergency, seal off. Alright, is that all there is to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shaped like an octagon. Fair enough. I wonder how that will come into play later. Hmm. Maybe somebody's gonna do something stupid and we have to fix their mistake. Most likely that's the case. I don't know. 
I have this feeling. Some herbage. I need bullets, so let me go ahead and grab this. The one good thing about this handgun is that it can take down dogs pretty quick. Especially if they're stationary. You can really pump some lead into them fast. You know, which you're about to see right now. Down! I said down. And there you have it. So having that gun... Having that gun uh, enhanced is definitely beneficial. There's a lever for the generator. Move the lever. Alright, we're on to something here. Let's see if I can take this idiot out right here. There we go. Look at that. Dogs have never been so easy to kill. Never. Oh, there's so much. I have, I have herbage like coming out of my ass, basically. No. Let's just do some mixing. So we can pick up more. There's two more herbs over there, but I don't think I'm gonna get them. I just, I just have way too much shit. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Like how much, how many mixtures can one man handle? Plus I'll have to kill another dog. It's just not worth it. The power has been restored. Restore electrical power? Absolutely. Let there be light. So that's what you looked like before I put a bullet in you, huh? Uh. Typical zombie dog. Alright, once again, Miss Claire gets shit working. Miss... Mrs. Fix-It right here. I, I guess the puzzles in this place make a little bit more sense than, than, than the training, the military facility, or the, uh, the Ashford areas and shit. You no, know, we gotta get stuff working again. Get generators going. Restore power. It's a power switch for the sorter. Push the switch. <laughs> Whatever that is, it's going to the weapons room. A control panel for the sorter. Lower the lever. Not yet! First, let's do this. There we go. You've posted the barcode sticker. Now, we'll go ahead and do it. I wonder what happens if I send that shit without putting the sticker on it. Never, I've never screwed up like that before. I almost did. I've never done that before. Now, before we leave this horrible place, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get that gas mask. As Claire narrowly avoids getting bitten. Or at least grabbed. Probably would have shook him off successfully. Take the gas mask? Shit, why not? Eh, typical gas mask, but we'll still investigate it. Why not? Gas mask. Protect, protect yourself from poisonous gas with this. Well said. I couldn't have said it any better. Alright, well, we're pretty much done. That shiny thing on that box that went to the weapon room, we can't get yet. Chris will handle that. That's for Chris. That's a big that's a big boy toy that Chris gets when he uh when he goes in that weapon room. But we can't access it from this side, I believe, because because of the flames. No. Yeah. The one time the auto aim does shit right. No. 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 No eggs on my back. That shit is so gross, you can actually see the implanted egg on her back. And then they can even put, like, two of them on there. Okay. That was quite rude of you, Mr. Mr. Rat. Trying to scare me like that. <coughs> Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me, as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family. Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly fifteen years ago, and then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age. It nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all of your family members at once. Uh, is, it, is, is that the excuse for his crazy shit? There was nothing I could do, and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologize. I then, re 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. I didn't realize that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. That is that is crazy. Man, these guys are so... so. Scott Harmon, butler. That's for the family. There's a switch. You've pushed the switch. creepy stuff. I was not a fan of this area when I was a kid. Take the plant pot? Yeah, sure. Give us one more, buddy. Come on. That sucks, man. Ten years? I'd be screaming like that, too. Shit. <laughs> Probably sound even worse. Plant pot. Let's see what they say, just in general. A plant pot. It appears to be an ordinary one. Ah, not quite so ordinary. Something is posted here. The machine room key was found at the bottom of the pot. Fine with me. Machine room key. Um, let's see what she says. It's locked. No keyhole can be found. What about this hal halberd? There's an indention in the shape of a halberd. Yeah, there sure is. Oh, I gotta put some shit up. This is ridiculous. I gotta put some shit up. Uh, put this away. Uh, put that up. Put that up. Is there any handgun bullets on me? Yeah, there sure is. Eh, handgun bullets are more than enough to tackle what's in this place right now. And, uh, yeah. That's about all I need. Let's do this. I'll be coming back to definitely save before that fight with Nosferatu. Because shit could go horribly wrong. Alexander's memo. <clears throat> My father, Edward. Discovered the mother virus in the corporation with Lord Spencer, who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They named a variation of the mother virus the T virus. To camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Chemical Incorporated. I managed, I majored in biogenics, in biogenics, and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However. My research went through a difficult phase, and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers, as there is a great competition in the field of the T-virus research. I have, dis I have disgraced the honorable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It will be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in the Antarctic. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It will be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. I am confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name, and that honor will be restored to the Ashford family once again. Alexander! I'll be happy to pull a bullet in your chest and make all your dreams and hopes come to a crashing halt, buddy. Whenever that fight goes down. Alright. Let's continue. This madness. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's good. No! <laughs> Dude just came out of nowhere! This type of shit I'm talking about, man. He got there fast. He saw me take out his boys and he was like, I'll get you for that! Swooped in on me quick, man. Man. I don't appreciate that at all. Um. Yeah, let's go watch, uh. Let's go watch Steve. Fuck up again. As he takes a, as he takes a long look at Claire's ass, which I don't blame him. I'd probably make the same mistake. Use the machine room key. You've used the machine room key, and we have discarded the machine room key. This 
see what's going on in here. Oh shit. It looks like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Great news. And take a look at that. It's a digging vehicle. If we break the wall with it, we might have a chance. Okay. Let's do it! I can't be mad at the guy, I mean, Claire's ass can destroy worlds for God's sakes. It's only natural that he'd be distracted. It's all my fault. Don't say that. Listen to me. We'll escape from here. Together. Come on. We've got to shut off the gas. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. Okay. Steve! Don't forget, we'll get out of here. Together. And then you can have this ass all to yourself. So stop letting it distract you, because you'll get it later, once we make it out of here. This, this, this room is filled with poisonous gas. Equip the gas mask and enter. I forgot that you could trigger that cutscene by checking out that, um, control panel and shit. It shit kind of startled me. When Steve came barreling in here, the poisonous gas detection lamp is on. The poisonous gas detection lamp is on. Because usually I just come up in here and go straight for this room and grab the valve handle, and then when I come back, Steve is already here, which is equally as startling, because he's just like, Hey, Claire! He's just like, there. You're just like, creepy as fuck. But, I always do it this way first, before I, uh... And then once I come out, he shows up. Yes, blah blah blah. Luckily, we have the mask already, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, speed running! I would have just not looked at that console and just ran right up in there, grabbed the valve, and see he would have been already out here. Ah, oh, shit! My stuff sounds like it's dropping frames, but it's not. The audio is skipping though, which is weird. That's weird. Audio is just like skipping like crazy for a second, but it doesn't say any frames have been dropping. That doesn't mean frames aren't dropped though, it's just because it's not saying it. I might I might play this thing back and it might be all kinds of sync issues. Jeez. Which would be just my luck. Why not? Just grab health. F it. Yes, yeah, big waste of time. Well, let's see what she says about this machine. A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this to process metal materials easily. Well, we have a metal material right here. A tool used to open and close the valve. The valve or valves? Taking the Octa valve handle. Cool, man. No problems. Ah, uh, we can't get in there quite yet. It's all good, though. We'll leave that for Chris. I don't even know what's in that. I think Magnum rounds are in that briefcase. So basically, stuff we don't really need. I don't need to, to be honest. The Magnum is pretty much, it's not useless, I mean, it's a powerful weapon, even though it's not as powerful as the explosive rounds, but they give you so much ammo that you don't even need, you don't even need, hmm, you know what, I think I might have missed out on an opportunity to get the AK-47, or, uh, as I call her, Susan, that's what I call it, I call it Susan, it's essentially an AK-47. 
But I think... I don't know if Chris can get it, though. I think he can. But I think Claire can get it as well. I'm not sure. There's a possibility I missed out on that gun. Because it's in the weapon area. Yeah, cut that shit out. No poison today. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. No, we're not good to go. So how should I, how should I do this? Should I save now? I should save now. But if I save now, I want to stop. But I don't want to. Oh, these things are back. <laughs> Total waste of bullets. That's awesome. I shot his wing off. He's still moving. Attention to detail there. Nice. Uh, let, let me squash this idiot. Cut it out! Shit! Yeah. Uh, look at these guys all cocooned up in here. Let's see. A monster might have been the killer. This seems to be some kind of nest. It's rather big. I don't think this nest can be removed. Why would you want to remove it? That shit's gross. Uh, I don't know, man. I just might have to save multiple times. That's just what's going to have to be. I'll, I'll save here, but I'll continue recording on this session for about 20 more minutes. Because this could get kind of complicated here. I'm probably going to die, which is unfortunate because I wanted this to be a no-death run. And even if I don't die, I'll probably get poisoned, which means I'd want to restart it anyways. Because I don't want to be poisoned and have to heal Claire and shit. So... Yeah, that's just the way it's gotta be. I gotta, I, I, I gotta take him out with a sniper rifle and hope I don't get poisoned. I remember practicing it and I didn't do a good job of it. I don't really need to do anything in here but save. So let's do it. I actually have an ink ribbon on me with just one, with just one usage left on it. So I'll swap that out for this one. So when I, oh for fuck's sake, never mind. <laughs> oh whatever. Now, if I die a whole bunch of times, I'll have to put that ink ribbon away each time. Perfect. Great. Well. Yeah. I don't want to get poisoned. Oh, here we go. This is definitely going to be a fail, though. Cause unless I get... Unless I get lucky. Looks like my... No my desire to have a no death run is going to be unfulfilled there's too many ways to fail these idiots I should have made it past that guy without getting grabbed it's upsetting I probably should have went to his right side instead oh well let's enjoy some beautiful cinematics as Steve once again tries to prove his man his manhood by being a badass. It's too bad it doesn't work. He's still a punk. <sighs> We're safe now. Think again, Claire. I shall enjoy watching you shriek in agony. Oh, Not God. this time! Mr. Alexander.